Good. It's raining. Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. Second part to this video, November 2019 on a hydro massage tub. Wanted to show you the practicality of it. That tub that you saw in the other video, if you can find it, is a freestanding unit with some legs, a plastic skirt, but there is no um, accessible panels right here. So it leads me to believe, as I've talked to my plumber, there's gonna be two faucets up high, assuming you can still pull that tub out. But as you can see, this is plastic. So what was the point of trying to ground the tub to here? You can't. So the part of the code says you can go to the branch circuit, and then you have to use an eight gauge. Can you see the difference between the eight and the, it feels like a 14, but it's actually a 12. That yellow jacket. So again, I don't really understand their concept on such a large wire. I think a number 10 would be sufficive with a green insulation the whole way, because I'm not gonna buy green eight or 12, um, or six, I should say. But yeah, so anyways, I ran it in number six because I run hot tubs and Teslas all the time, so that's what I have on me. And I did a backup up here towards this vent. We can get to this exhaust fan, cut around a little bit, and then I can do a fish rod all the way back if I get another inspector that says I want it to the panel. So let me show you over here. This is the basement you already saw a video on last week. And if they decide to say they don't like that, I've got a 30 foot of fish rod I can shove through. And then we would take it back to this panel. But as I told the inspector, it's a little redundant because the 12 comes all the way back here on this circuit right here. Um, the other thing we talked about was coming in here. My, my bigger concern was making sure that our gas pipe had a ground and it did not, that we have CSST pipe. But I think we should bond it here and bond it here, but they didn't require that yet. As you can see out of the hot water heater, what's the point of coming to these? If you pop out the hot water heater, maybe if we grounded to here would be good. On the cold water side, which typically you should be on the cold water, but I can't get the hot. It's all plastic. Now over there, the grounding of the water electrode is right there. The shut off, you can see through my hand right there, but that's all PEX too. And so I only have maybe four foot of pipe as it comes down. Let's see if we can go that way. There's a meter there. But the code says that you have to have more than 10 foot as it comes out into the structure from the dirt. So I, that to me is the dirt wall from what I can see. But you can see they've already grounded it right there into the water. So at least I have the grounding electrode. If this was an older home and I didn't have that grounding electrode conductor all the way back to the panel, I wouldn't even install your hydro massage tub. I would make you put your grounding electrode conductor, article 25050, and then I'd make you put in two ground rods to your main disconnect on your panel, making sure though your sub panel has four wires and not three going to it, then I would ground your hydro massage tub. Because without that, what good is it? You don't have a ground all the way through the system. So it's not as easy as you think when you're remodeling. Um, hopefully you look at this video first, but sometimes even so, the panels have to be upgraded in order just to add the circuits. This one again only had a little air pump and then a massage jet pump, but it didn't have a heater. So sometimes you have to have two circuits to the area and then you have to have your third circuit would be your typical 20 amp for your outlets right here. Okay, so that's three 20 amp circuits to this bathroom. And your fourth would be an outlet here for your toilet. You may want to get a duvet or just um, a heated toilet seat. And then you right now have your branch circuits in here for your lighting. And if it ties to the bedroom, it's arc faulted. So again, that could be right there, four to five circuits for a new bathroom remodel. And a lot of panels don't even have that amount of space in them. So anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. Hopefully it'll help you out.